Good morning. Oh my goodness. We have been hopping through houses and let me tell you all the videos that I've seen this morning have been awesome. Let me let me take my earphones out. Hold on a second. I didn't take my earphones out of my camera here. All right. Woo. So I'm filling in for Kathy B this morning, Kathy Bird. And let me get out here to chat. Hi, Arlene. There's Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. So let me tell you, every video that I watched this morning has just been awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm, I'm setting up my screen over here. Hi Becky, Becky and Sylvia. Sylvia, your your Sea Witch house is just beautiful. I love what you did to it. I didn't get a chance to chat too much because I was kind of gathering things here, but I was watching. I was watching. Hi Dar. There's Dar, Cheshire Cat. Good morning. Hi Janet. Oh and Janet. You just, uh, let me tell you, every one of you have knocked these videos out of the water. Janet did a, a toadstool house, and she was showing the journaling room this morning, and Mel Joy was there, and it's just a joy. That book is, Janet is so, it just invites all of these videos. These books invite people to come in and to explore the book. And they're, they are, quiet books were originally meant for children for two to four to keep them busy. And I, even though I think children would enjoy these, every book has had an adult flavor to it to where the young at heart can enjoy them too. Just, and you guys have been knocking it out of the water. Uh, <laughs> you have far surpassed me. I've been getting all sorts of ideas that I kind of want to incorporate into mine as I work. Uh, this is this is as far as I've progressed. Uh, and I have to tell you, those of you who don't think you've done very much, don't feel bad. Because all I've done is this so far. <laughs> but I've been gathering ideas. And that's kind of what where I want to go this morning. Um, I want to gather more ideas, so I'm going to... We're going to do a list. I love doing lists with you guys because I get to interact with you. And I'm going to pull my tablet down here so I can see chat better. I have my own ideas. Like, yeah, a room key here. Uh-huh. And a little guest book. Maybe a, a little picture hanging on the wall. I've got the bezel, but I don't have the picture in it. I want a guest book. Now, I'm doing the lobby of a hotel room. And uh, I've gathered some pictures, and I've got a picture of a big old comfy chair that I want to make uh, uh, fold up and down, like when you open the book, uh, using Anne Lahr's techniques. Anne Lahr has been, oh, it, you guys, you just have to watch her videos later tonight. And let's extend some sympathy to Anne Lahr, because she lost, she lost um, a brother this week. She messaged me yesterday and said she just found out. And she's still going to stream. Um, so, you know, let's send our heartfelt sympathies to Anne. She'll come on later tonight. You all have been knocking these videos out of the water. The interactive elements, the design of the houses, Mrs. Gigi, your, your little kitchen is so darling. It makes me want to hop in there. And she's going, I don't know what I'm going to do with the refrigerator. <laughs> and I think Barbara suggested that she do a um, a pantry, a butler's pantry. What a cool idea. She's got a little cellar lifting up from the floor, a little root cellar. Oh, it's so cute. So we're going to, because I'm filling in for Kathy, we're going to, I'm going to gather some ideas. Let me... Let me go out here. Now, I'm going to write, but um, now I have the, what I think I want to do eventually is take this 
beautiful picture here. This will probably be more for the parlor. Although the fireplace, I could put a fireplace in the, the lobby area. And I was thinking about bed and breakfasts and how they started. And I've been reading on the internet. If you Google bed and breakfast, you'll get lots and lots of different different sites and some of the sites the bed and breakfasts tell the history of bed and breakfasts and uh, of course uh, in the days when they had to travel like in the United States when they had to travel uh, between different places they didn't they couldn't go online and do their own I'm gonna move Penelope do their own Google a bed and breakfast or Google a hotel room and make their reservations online. So um, they generally, I thought it was interesting that like doctors would offer rooms in their houses to other doctors or, or attorneys or stuff like that. Generally, I think it stayed within their, their unofficial class. But also as they traveled through the country, people, especially when like um oh like the depression and that area that era um when people needed extra money they would offer an extra room in their house and i was thinking man just think of the lady of the house how she probably had to keep that house presentable and clean and, uh, you know, it was probably a lot of work for them at that time. And then as you go further back in time, um, it also mentioned that monasteries would open rooms in their monastery to travelers. And, uh, of course, you could do that for religious purposes if you were religious, but also if you wanted a certain amount of safety. You know, and I just thought it was very, very interesting. And I have, so let's catch up with chat here. Let me go clear up to the top as far as I can. Arlene is here, Vanessa, Aunt Beck, Sylvia, Dar, Janet Nash. Hi, Becky Waters. Good morning. Cheshire Cat, who's Dar. Journey, good morning. Oh, Journey, I went out to see your dolls. They are awesome. Journey, Journey made some handmade primitive dolls, and she posted in Fibsville. They are just awesome, Journey. You do a, you do a wonderful job. Uh, let's see, Mrs. Gigi, I loved your kitchen. Hi, Ami. Hi, Ami. <laughs> Are you wiping the sleep out of your eyes? There's Leon. Hi, Leon. Michelle Noel. <laughs> Sherry Van. Aw, look at you guys. Arlene says, I think doing the hop this way with plenty of prep time is making individuals so much more rich. I agree totally, Arlene. Um, now, not everybody has the time to do pre-hop videos, so it's an optional thing. But it's wonderful to see, like Anne. Anne has been showing how her, she's doing um, an, uh, an art studio in the old Confederate Mint. I think it's, is it in Charleston or Columbia? I think it's in Columbia. And I love what she did. Becky, Becky went and took some pictures and Anne enlarged the outside of that picture. And for the front cover of her book, she made it this way, and for the back um, cover, she angled it. And it just looks like a big, huge building. And then she has all these pop-outs, and just, and, and she explains how she makes them. And I'm going to try to make at least one pop-out that is um, inspired by Anne. And I'd like to make a niche that's inspired by Sylvia. Uh, my niche may not be too big, but and it may be in a different room. But look at these. Look at this. This is this says the hallway, but I'm going to make it the lobby. And look, there's a staircase in here. Now, some things that were suggested to me. Let me get out here. Now, let me get this book. Let me go out to my email 
And I, I sent it to myself in email. Come on, Flip. It never cooperates with me when I want it to. Let me go to my email here. And Jamie, APG Jamie, sent me some ideas. And I thought it was so interesting. So we're going to carry on with the ideas. I'm going to write Amy's down here first. She says, watching your Time for Art video, you could have a bookcase with a hidden secret passage. So I'm going to write that in here. That'll probably go in, in the library with hidden passage. This is from Jamie. Love that idea. Or a cabinet or a buffet with a door that opens. So, cabinet with a door that opens. And I was thinking of one of those old-time secretariats. You know, it's it's kind of shaped with a glass door. And then it has a mirror and a little fold-down door. Like that, an old-fashioned. I'm going to put secretariat. And in this little fold-down door, we could put a little laptop computer. Uh, with door um, or a rug a rug that flips flips back to reveal secrets um, you could have a grandfather clock with the door or spinning clock hands so, grandfather clock. There is a grandfather clock in here. I might put the spinning hands on there. Grandfather clock, spinning hands. I'm just going to put spin hands. Um, or sheets on a bed that fold back. You think of a bed and breakfast. Okay. So... Some of my own ideas were a door key and lock. And a guest register. And you know, how you would visit some hotels, they have a guest book where you can record, you know, your stay or leave notes. Record stay or notes. And I have to tell you, I, I, how many of you, let's see, what else did I, oh, and I want an ink bottle and pen for, I thought that would make a nice interactive. So there's several ideas there. How many of you have stayed in bed and breakfasts? How many of you have actually stayed, I have to say, I don't think I've ever, I've stayed in hotels that had a bread and breakfast feel to them but they were still hotels they weren't uh well and then when i was younger and i was in a stitching group uh we went down to arkansas and we had a stitch in in a bed and breakfast so i guess i can say that was uh, that was sort of a stay but it was more of a group stay we were a group of of needle workers I, uh, so, Diana said she stayed in many bed and breakfasts. Bootsy says he loves B&Bs. Mrs. Gigi says me several times. Vanessa said a drawer with a magazine in it. A drawer. Yeah, gotta have magazines. And, you know, local brochures that t tell what's going on during that week weekly events so if somebody comes and stays they might see something oh there's an art gallery with a show of an artist that i really like you know something like that so they might get some ideas um i'm thinking of a pen and paper pad that uh you know fancy stationery that they can take with them i'm going to put a takeaway uh they can write letters um uh, I'm thinking of like a feather a feather pen and maybe some fancy stationery that they can write or postcards that they can send to people. 
Bootsy says it's a special experience. Who's scratching your ears, Dar? Ami says, sounds nice, Roy. I've been spending my mo mornings outside relaxing ev this every morning this past week. Oh, Ami, that's cool. Roy says he's organizing, listening, and lurking. It's a gorgeous day on Long Island, so I'll be outdoors later for a good part of the day. Very cool, Roy. Hi, Julianne. If you're still out there, Julianne Jinsky. Glad to have you join us. Carol is here. Hi, Whispering Cauldron, Carol. I think Carol comes up. Carol, I think you come up, don't you, first thing in the afternoon, early evening on our schedule? Sylvia's here, Julianne. Gail, hi, Gail. Good morning, Gail. I'm just kind of scrolling back here. So what are some other interactive elements? I put some down in here, and I'm going to gather them. I'm going to try to incorporate them in my, in my book. Um, I want to make a list first. I've got all kinds of time because I'm, I'm filling in for a couple people, and I want to mention that. Um, I mentioned it earlier, but I want to mention it now. Our schedule here is very flexible. Sometimes people don't, you know, something comes up unexpected. They don't know. They they sign up for it. Like, I think Mary, we were going to have Mary Dunn on early. Mary Dunn is a Pittsburgh artist. And we were going to have her art studio. And we were going to have her on. And at the last minute, her her laptop was not letting her do the live streams so um, I told her she could still do a video and I would put it in the playlist but sometimes even though I try my best to get a good schedule sometimes there's last minute changes and I don't mind that I really want to make that clear to you guys that this is just for fun I'm not a business this is not bringing in money what it's doing though is getting us together as a group on one theme and we're playing with different ideas and my goodness the ideas that have popped up this morning have just I've just been loving the videos they've they've all outdone me let me tell you so but I want to make this clear to particularly the people that stream don't feel bad if you if you have to cancel these are just for fun we're just out here having a fun Friday a, a relaxing day to get together and play what are you making? Are you asking me, Journey, what I'm making? I'm doing the lobby of a bed and breakfast. And and uh, I'm not really making anything right now. I'm really wanting a list of interact. I'm doing a list of interactive elements that I can put in the lobby. So this is Victorian. Victorian B&B &B lobby. A list of interactive elements and I'm going to try to take some of these and actually put them in my book here list of inter active elements let's see a throw blank oh you guys have popped ahead of me here let me go back here. A dinner mint on the pillows. I'm going to put dinner mints because we could put a, a bowl of mints that are like wrapped in paper. Sort of in the lobby for people to grab when they come in. Uh, you know, when they register, maybe, you know, give them a sweet taste in their mouth. Let's see. Sylvia says, I stayed one month in an Austri Austrian B&B. &B. Oh, how cool is that? It's a special experience. Pictures on the wall. Pictures on the wall. I like that. In fact, I have some ideas for that. Um, Journey says, we stayed in, a, in one, a B&B &B in Maine. Sylvia says, she loves B&Bs. 
Diana. Diana says, we stayed in B&Bs in Cape May, New Jersey, in upstate New York. And as I was uh, reading on the internet, the different blogs, and, and looking at the different B&Bs, it's very interesting to see how they are very aware of making everything sanitary now because of the virus that's going around. You know, they will... Um, encourage social distancing some of them will provide masks and they say that they clean after every guest and the b and b's themselves are designed not as a hotel they're kind of like a home away from home so you may only see from five to six guests in one b and b and me i'm wanting to i'm wanting more more things like a library and and a swimming pool and a garden and you know i want the guest rooms but i may only have maybe five rooms uh for guests maybe six rooms would would be appropriate a throw blanket yeah throw blankets on big old comfy comfy chairs like a reading a reading nook in the lobby would be nice um, sometimes, uh, if you're traveling as a couple or in a group, sometimes the men are all ready to go before the women are, you know, and, and they could have a place to stay, you know, wait in the lobby while their others are getting, <laughs> getting ready, you know, so that you could have like a little reading nook or just a little meeting place. I want to put an elevator, a Victorian elevator in my house. So that could be off of a, and I was researching some of those. I think that would be fun. Now, so far, I think Erin is going to, is going to stream tonight. She'll be, I'll be on right before her. And hopefully she streams, but whether she streams or not, I'm going to have a Victorian elevator going up to, she's doing a mansion attic room. And I want that Victorian elevator to go up to, that will be my door into the next stream. Let's see. I got the throw blanket. Uh, Becky says, I'd love to stay in a and b someday. Me too. I would really like to go on my own sometime. You know, just go on my own to maybe some place I haven't visited before. Some place in the next state over or some, you know, maybe over in Iowa or down in Kansas. Um, that would be fun. And just stay for like a Friday or Saturday night just over the weekend and explore that town and maybe do some urban sketching. Um, let's see. Angie says she's sewing. Yeah, Carol says she comes on right after. I, I'll do an introductory video this evening, and then Carol at Whispering Cauldron will be coming on after me. Kimberly says it's a gorgeous day on the East Coast. Um, Roy says bicycles. Garden chairs. I want to have a front porch and what i was thinking i was looking at this more i was going to leave let me get this cover out here this book out i was going to leave this flat as a book but now i think i'm going to make this front cover a big old wrap around porch wouldn't be that be fun a wrap around porch and and i'm thinking about cutting my house cutting my cover the shape of this house and you know, cutting all the pages the shape of this house and make this front cover a wraparound porch. I think that would be fun to do. Now, that's going to take some time. And this is, this, my book is not going to happen all at once. You guys know me. But I will, I will get the lobby done. I have three pages here that I can work on for the lobby. And I think I'll start out by painting this a light blue area. And I, I was thinking about taking this cover, this, 
and using it as a lobby. Now, when guests come into the lobby, you know, they want a place to register. So I'm going to, I'm going to put in like a little guest book. And I was thinking about taking this rug and making it an actual carpet. And I want the guest book and I want keys to their room. But in my bed and breakfast, since it's a home, it's a, it's a home. It's going to be a big old Victorian home. I don't really want a check-in desk. Uh, when they come in, I want to greet people as if they were coming into my house. So I don't want it to look like a hotel. So I might meet them and invite them to sit on one of these comfy chairs while we check them in and give them their keys. Um, what I think would be nice, maybe over in here, have like a little... Um, um, well, I want to say a footstool, but it could be a coffee table where I could pull out the drawers and have the, you know, put the guest book on top and maybe a bouquet of flowers. And then I could pull out the drawers. I was looking at, at uh, Sylvia's. She had a little drawer that pulled out. Now, I uh, her book is thicker because I'm just going to have a couple pages. So when I make the drawer that pull out pulls out, I might just have it flip out like that. And inside would be the guest book. And, and well, the guest book would be on top. Um, but have, like, uh, keys and stuff like that that I can hand to them as they are registering. And the other thing in the front area of the book here, I want to give the history as I was reading and researching about Victorian um, bed and breakfasts, most of them are have a history behind the house. So in here, I'm going to put, I'm maybe in here in the introduction, put the history of my bed and breakfast. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. Now I lost track of, let's see, Roy was telling me, garden chairs, sun umbrellas, He's just giving ideas of, especially if it's a being beer near the beach. Now I don't, I don't anticipate. That's a good, interesting point. Where in the town is my B and B located? Is it going to be near a lake, a beach? Um, I have to think of that. I'm going to make a note here. Uh, Angie said, I'm using the sewing machine. What are you making? Oh, that's what Journey was saying. Journey, I'm sewing for fun. Oh, an old-fashioned phone. Oh, that would be cool. An old-fashioned phone with the... <laughs> It'd be fun if it actually worked. Um, you could put in different Tim Holtz people on a spinner that could show up in a mirror frame. Oh, Tim Holtz people people on a spinner <laughs> that show up in a mirror frame. That's cool. Gun B and D had an old record player with 78 78 RPM records available to play. So old, I'm going to put phonograph with 78 RPM records. What a great idea, Roy. A registration book. Yeah, a guest book, a registration book. Beautiful wallpaper and a vintage lamp. Beautiful wallpaper. Now, I looked at my wallpaper books. If you look at this pink design here, the wallpaper books that I got had really more Art Deco and modern wallpapers. I didn't find any Victorian. I, I think I have one that has some floral wallpaper in it, but I in the short time that I had this morning, I couldn't find it. So beautiful wallpaper, we want to do that, and what was it, and a vintage lamp, I love the idea of a vintage lamp, a fruit bowl, 
good idea, fruit bowl. Now, bed and breakfast, when you stay at a bed and breakfast, now I only know this from reading on the internet, but it's meant for like an overnight or a weekend stay. It could be a whole month, but they serve, you, you get the bed, you know, you stay overnight, and then you get breakfast in the morning. That's complimentary. And it's it, one place said it's not like the breakfast that they offer in hotels where, you know, you might get a package of sweet rolls or... Oh, some hotels do a really good job. You can make your own waffles or something. But in bed and breakfast, the breakfasts are usually home-cooked meals like bacon and eggs and breakfast um, biscuits and, and uh, you know, casseroles. And, you, you know, you almost have a brunch for breakfast. Let's see. A craft area. Uh, the craft area will probably not go in the lobby, but it, it's a good idea. It will be one of those extra rooms. <laughs> Especially if you have a group of people come for the weekend, you know, maybe like a, it's got to have a sun porch. I know, um, like I was saying, a group of us needleworkers got together. That, that had to be in the 90s, the early 1990s. And we went to, we had a, a, a needlework stitch in down in a bed and breakfast in Arkansas. And uh, that was fun. But, you know, I have to tell you, I I went along with a group. And I wasn't thinking bed and breakfast. I was just thinking, ooh, what am I going to do, you know? Let's see, a throw. We got the throw. Many Victorian houses in Cape May, New Jersey. A water bowl to wash your hands in, so a wash basin. Uh, you know, with a picture, a pitch, a picture, that would probably go in the bedroom, um, but that could be part of the vanity in a bedroom. Let's see. Hi, Jill. I'm thinking uh, newspapers, a daily paper. People could read daily paper and magazines available. Of course, we'll have to have the art journaling magazine out there in the Somerset studio. So daily paper to keep up with the news and uh, current magazines and maybe some books on the uh, scattered around. Sylvia says, these ones are the best, Roy. The one I worked in in London had one like that. And I listen to the Odie's Rock and Roll Records. <laughs> a Wi-Fi code. Yeah, you have to have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. And it has to be um, good good internet, I want to put. We're going to make sure that we have good internet available. Because in today's world, in today's world, people are going to need it. Old books and comfy chairs. Old books and comfy chairs. Yeah, big old soft it's chairs that you can almost fall asleep in. Now I can see having some big comfy chairs in the lobby. Let's see. B&Ds are perfect for solo travelers, Bootsy says. Heineken! A serving trolley with tea and such. A serving trolley? I like that. Little cart. And I'm going to put with tea set. Yeah. Um, Melissa's here. Hi, Melissa. Melissa. Now, I'm the last one. And I think I go until... I think I go until about 9 o'clock. So, my time is about up here. I think my schedule is a little off. Let me look at my schedule let me look at my schedule here. Uh, yeah. Oops. Let's see. Live chat. I want to go here. I want to make sure I'm not going over my time. I got to 9.50. Um, but I think I need to be off at, at 9 o'clock because Scrap Chick comes on. Doesn't Scrap Chick come on at 9? I got till 9.50 here. I'm not sure of my time. When does Scrap Chick come on? I, I don't know if she comes on at 10 or 9. I usually get, I'm off by 9 o'clock. 
so I'm going to end this list now. And what I'm going to do later tonight, let me go back in here. I will be back on later tonight at at 7.30, 7.25. And I'm going to take some of these ideas that you guys have given me. I really love some of these. And I'm going to work on my lobby later tonight. I think I'm going to start out by painting this area here just a light blue. It, this says, the foyer is uh, the least yet the most important area in the house. In one respect, the foyer, and you can think of the foyer as being the lobby of, a, of an inn, simply serves to get you from the front door to the living room. But now, they're thinking a Victorian home. The Victorians recognized the foyer as a practical space of great value. It supplies storage for overcoats, raincoats, boots, scarves. So we'll, we'll need maybe a coat rack. A coat rack. I could see that and, a, and a, one of those little moving carts, to luggage carts, to help people move things up. And I want to put in a... I want to put in a, a Victorian elevator so I could have the luggage cart next to the elevator. And I'll probably do that maybe right in here. I also was thinking of a stained glass window in the background. See, there's just lots of ways that I don't know if I can do that, this all on three pages. I could have a pop-out and large style. I might work with that. A stained glass window. Uh, with a kind of a Victorian design on it. So let me get back into chat here. I'm getting off my... Let me get back into chat. Live chat. Live chat. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. Hi, let's see. Can't wait to see it. Hi, Mary Kay. Welcome, Mary. Vanessa says a shoe bench with an umbrella holder. Yeah. Um, a shoe bench with an... I, I like the idea of an umbrella holder. And actually have some umbrellas in there. Uh, or at least pictures of umbrellas that they can take in case they need one. Let's see. Deb. Which Deb is in here? Hi, Deb. Welcome, Deb. Deb, are you still doing your tiny house this evening? Deb is going to do a tiny house. I can't wait to see what she does at. Oh, a desk with a typewriter. Uh, let's put uh, oak desk with old typewriter. I can see that being in the lobby. But I'm actually going, I'm going, lending toward this. Because, as I said, I want people who come into this bed and breakfast to feel like they're coming into a home. And I'm, I'm thinking of having, like, a coffee table here with drawers that pull out that will have, like, the guest register or, or um, you know, keys, uh, maybe information about the area. Of course, that could be out over here, too. And it looks like here, it looks like they have some serving. It looks like they have a... A basket of mints here this is a vase but I could very easily take this one of these vase areas and put in like a little servette area where they could you know have some coffee some warm coffee or or tea I like the idea of my lobby area being coming into a home rather than into a hotel I don't want a hotel desk, is what I'm saying, or a hotel counter. So that's where I'm going with this. Coffee maker, yes, a coffee, maybe um, one of those, um, not a coffee maker, but, um, oh, what do they call those little portable machines with the little K-cups? My, my mind just went blank. I'll put a K-cup, a K-cup coffee maker. <laughs> 
So with different flavors of tea, maybe a little carousel with different flavors of tea. I mean, a, well, you could have tea too, tea or coffee. Carrig, a carrig. I like that idea. So a lot of ideas. I'm going to pop off. It's 9 o'clock. I want to be off. Um, I think Scrap Chick comes on. I'm, I try to get off by 9 on Friday mornings. Colleen, Scrap Chick. I don't like to go into her time. So we will see you later this evening. Thank you for all the ideas. Oh, I love lists. And I love lists that come from you guys. Because... You know, you think you know it all, but when I get it from you guys, I just, it just like my whole world expands. <laughs> so, we will see you later this evening. I will be coming on, I think at 4.05. Did, did I say 4.05? And then Sylvia, let's go back and look at the time before I say goodbye. I want to make sure I'm getting it right. Um, I will come on this evening at... Morning hop. I will come on at 4.05 just for a little introduction. And then Carol comes on at 4.25 and she's doing a haunted magical house with the potions room. I think. <laughs> if she wants to change it, that's okay too. But it kind of gives you a flavor of where she's going. So have a great day, everybody. And I hope that you've enjoyed this hop so far as much as I have. I've just been blown out of the water with what people are doing. Bye.